Hi guys, um, can I take a headset off of this? I just got the news that one of my oldest best friends just committed suicide. Guys, if you know anyone, and I mean anyone, who you think, even just a slight thought, that any one of your friends or family members has destructive thoughts, get them help. Don't try and be their shrink, get them a shrink, okay? Eddie, I love you, buddy. But you did have to do what you did, mate. Not over something as petty as money. I lost a cousin to suicide. And now I just lost one of my closest friends. <laughs> to this horrible, 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 horrible mental condition. And guys, I'm serious. If you know anyone out there who needs help, get, get them help. I mean, get them help. Don't, don't argue. Don't, don't fight. Don't do anything. Just get them help. Suicide is a nasty, nasty thing. Okay? If you have friends that you haven't contacted in a while, call them. If you have friends that are estranged over an argument, call them. Email them. Go knock on their front door. We've only got a small amount of time on this planet. Don't spend it with hate in your heart. Don't spend it with 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 with, 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 with negativity in your life. Okay? Seek the good in this world. I have had nothing but bad news for the last weeks, months even. And I mean nothing but bad news. Nothing but bad, bad news. And some of it I will talk about, like my friend Eddie dying. And some of it I can't because it's just too personal and it's just too painful. I just, I'm in pieces right now, guys. And I got a stream in 20 minutes, so... Today's stream is going to be a bit sucky, and I am sorry, guys, if I get very emotional, and if I get very snappy, and if I say something or do something that is going to hurt or offend you, I am sorry, but I just lost one of my closest best friends to money, to fucking money. I'm gonna leave this video here guys, I'm so sorry.
Hi guys, just wanted to do this. Okay, so on this, you guys have a 2003 Quick vlog here. Um, since what happened with my friend Eddie, I've had nothing but love and support from all of you guys and it's absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for all the love and all the support, especially you, uh, 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 Johnny, you, Rick D, uh, Grim and Pandemics are on Discord and I'm pretty sure you can hear them. And so I just, like I said, I'm gonna go outside real quick guys and finish this. Because the last on the phone, I don't want to. Shh, buddy, shh. That's my daddy saying, well, uh, that's saying hello to dad. Um, the wife gave me the focus, she signed over the title. I am now the owner of the focus, so that's the focus, the charcoal gray, right there. That's the focus. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from a friend who's going to see about buying it from me, and um. I, I I would like to trade it. I would like to trade it, you know, some cash and, and maybe a firearm, uh, maybe a, a twenty-two two fifty or or five five six AR, you know, semi-automatic. No 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 Rambo, fully auto crap. Um, now Jeep Cherokee. I took a look. Uh, the reason why the rear pumpkin was actually really really hot to the touch, uh, simply because as the wife forgot to take it out of all-wheel drive. So she's been overworking the transfer case and whatnot. So we figured that out, drove it for a bit, and it was actually quite cold to the touch. It was easy to touch and everything else. So we figured out why that's going on. So it's not the bearings or the seals or anything. So that's really good news. Uh, that's actually put a lot of strain off of me. Um, and of course, as you guys know, the, the Pontiac, um, either I sell it or, I mean, my buddy Grim, I love you. Trust me, brother, you're a brother to me. You're on your way here. Um, you're going to be leaving Washington on the 25th and I did promise you the car so for now the car is yours but if someone does show up with, with 750 cash I'm afraid I'm going to have to sell it mate I need the money um, just contacted the bank and um, they're having one of their inspectors come along the loan inspector to come and take a look at the Jeep because um, that's what I did I got a bank loan to pay for the Jeep uh, so a bank inspector is going to come be coming down here today uh, at about two o'clock. So uh, in the middle of my live stream, if I up and disappear for a bit, guys, you know why. Uh, talking to the loan inspector. Um, I have also got a friend who's in the middle of uh, looking at finding a buyer for that really rare Muncie three-speed transmission that I've got in here. Um, that transmission. Rat rodders love it because it, it you can get adapter plates and it'll bolt up to a Ford, Chevy, Dodge. Fuck it. I've seen it bolt up to, to Nissan diesels. Um, and it doesn't need a computer or anything. It's running. Uh, the transmission was fine when I pulled it out of the pickup. It's just I was going to put an automatic in there. Um, so I know, like I said, it runs, it's fine. What? Cancel everything? Cancel everything. Why? Maybe it'll be home Tuesday. What, what's the price? 1165 So where was that 2000 something from? Uh, it was a different part. He finally found a different, uh, lower price part for me. Okay. It's being shipped from, guess where? Where? Nevada. I told you. <laughs> but like I said, so the wife's happy. Now Ryo's good here and whatnot, but I'm still probably going to end up selling the Focus uh, just to get it out of our hair and out of my face because it's really pissing me off because I see such a really beautiful fucking car and there's nothing I can do about it because I don't have a fucking cherry picker to move the engine to get to the fucking alternator because Ford, in their infinite fucking wisdom, put the goddamn alternator. Um, we're not doing anything with the Focus right now. Okay. The Focus is going to be parked in the driveway until that thing sells. Well, like I said, Grim's already buying it, so I know. it's sold. So when the money comes through for it, uh -huh. I'm having Grants pick that up, uh -huh. and I'm having them give me a price quote on fixing it. But I wanted it. I wanted to sell it. What? <laughs> what? 
Great, that, that, that giggle means I'm in trouble, guys. Just FYI, if your girlfriend or your wife does that giggle, that be Betty Rubble giggle, you're in trouble. But uh, again, so it looks like uh, the wife's happy with the price. So yay, I will uh, update you what's going on in a bit then, guys, bye. Hey guys, we're doing a little uh, thing. We're out for a drive, me and the Baroness. Yes, that sexy woman right there. Really? Yeah. We're out for a little drive in there. In Wu, which is the name of our Jeep Grand Cherokee. And uh, she's off to get her hair done. So she's going to a salon to get her hair did. Me? I'm probably just going to sit there and get high off the fumes. Probably. Probably. Because uh, it will be over in uh, Huntington. He, he doesn't want me to go out of the house alone anymore. Can you blame me after what happened with the no. So, you know, I had to call the stream short. Sorry, guys. Again, Donnie, thank you for the host. Greatly appreciate it, buddy. But I threw a host out to uh, another good friend of mine, Cotton Gamer. Cotton, hope you enjoyed the host, brother. Uh, like I said, guys, yes, I'm back to streaming. I've got my groove back. Um, losing my voice due to how mad I am at Ritu for their new hate crime from H build. Which is an absolute. It's just horrible. The horrid, the horrid build, as we're calling it. Who the hell puts more sway in my just uh, Anyway, gonna get off that subject. So we're gonna be having some fun here. Apart from getting high as a kite from the gas tank, which I swear to God must have a leak in it. I mean, literally, right? what do you get? If there was smell of vision all you would smell is... Gasoline. And it, it's bad, guys. It's bad. I don't like a match. Good thing I'm not smoking for it. Yeah, because we're going to be up in the fire. Yeah. But anyway, uh, so yeah, we're uh, off to the, the rest. Of yes, I did down my mobile. Yes, it is red. Um, at the request of the Baroness. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're doing, guys. Um, my buddy Eddie, uh, who passed away, uh, has donated his body to science which means there won't be uh, a viewing of his body or anything. However, what there will be uh, is uh, we're gonna do a, a Native American celebration of life, uh, which is awesome. Uh, my buddy Jeff, thank you Jeff, who's gonna be hand handling all of that. Uh, so uh, if I'm a bit emotional in the next couple of vlogs, you know why, guys. Uh, don't forget, new video went live. Uh, where I did talk about Eddie, I did show a picture of him. I did, I, I said my farewells to him. And uh, I also talked about uh, the new president-elect, Donald Trump. Yes. Uh, mm. Canada, here I come. We're not moving to Canada. New Mexico, or not New Mexico, New Mexico? My Spanish is bad. My Spanish is not existent. Go. <laughs> Look, let, let, let's give him his dues, all right? He hasn't even given his pledge of Oval Office yet, okay? Hey, we're still safe. Technically, Obama's still president. Like I said, yay, we're still safe. Wait a minute. A president can veto stuff, right? Yes. Can he veto a president-elect? No. I'll throw that question out to you guys. Post in the comment section down below uh, whether or not, and, and please cite your sources, okay? Say source so and so. Um, but cite your sources whether or not a president, uh, 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 president of the United States, whether or not he can uh, uh, veto, an election. veto a president elect. <laughs> or could an act of Congress. Who knows? Maybe an act of war if we were in the middle of a war and the president-elect didn't have the know-how or the ability or whatever you want to call it to step in and take over. Of course he doesn't. But I know he doesn't. Yeah. It's Donald Trump! What's he gonna do? Stand up and yell, you're fired? I got a funny picture of him sitting on the... Oh, 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 oh shit, I like picture of him on, on, on the 
the, the, the deck of an aircraft carrier yelling, fire! <laughs> You're fired! You're fired! <laughs> Kim Jong-un, we're gonna build a wall. It's the best wall there is. Yeah, or something like that. Or, or, or worse, he gives them chunk snakes to eat and they just die. <laughs> Oh. But anyway guys, leave that here. I'll see you after the Baroness has got her palm and you guys can say yay or nay on it. Uh, till then guys, much love and I'll see you all in the next video. If that works, I'll be bloody amazed. I'm serious guys. Okay, Fuse's just popped in the house. Wife just came out and just tapped on them with a metallic flashlight. Oh my god, you're kidding me. Son of... My wife's a miracle worker. Hey honey, what do you do when the internet goes down? Restart the dad and router. And if that don't work, throw it against the goddamn wall. See what I'm saying, guys? This is why I love the Baroness. She just, just no fucks given. Oh, and by the way, guys, her hair looked beautiful last night. Absolutely gorgeous, guys. Luckiest man in the world I am. Seriously, no, guys, see this woman right here. Okay, honey, wave. Please. Honey. Just wave. See that woman there, guys? That's the love of my life. I mean it, guys. That woman right there is the actual, literal definition of the love of my life. Getting my first cup of coffee. Phone died last night, so I had to charge it. First thing in the morning, I got a couple of texts from the Mormon missionaries that, that came. Um, I have no interest in converting to Mormonism. No. They tried about five years ago. Five, six years ago they tried. Uh, and I just, I wasn't interested then and I'm not interested now. Uh, I'm an egalitarian. Uh, I don't believe in in and I mean I, I believe in a higher power. Okay, I just don't believe in calling him Buddha, Jesus, you know, uh, Gandhi, wh whatever. I just Joe Pesci. I just don't believe in in organizing your entire life, your dietary needs, everything around the, the ability of whether or not you believe in a fluffy cloud or not. You know, I just don't. Oh, I love that taste. And so, you know, I just, I just don't. Let's get some toast in me. Mm. Yummy, love toast. Toast, 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 toast. And so, I just, I don't have a hard time telling people the who, the what, the where, the when. But these missionaries, these guys, uh, uh, Tarwater and Anderson, I believe their names are. Yeah, Tarwater. I was like, Tarwater? The fuck is Tarwater? Ten pants, it's a German name. I'm like, oh. So it's uh, Tagenfass. Uh, ah, so you changed it to Tarwater. A typical American thing. Oh, well, let's be embarrassed of our German heritage, so let's just change everything. You know my ritual, guys, coffee and toast. Coffee, toast, and then I usually sit on the back porch while I'm waiting for my toast to pop. So that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, um, Grim is going to be heading this way uh, 23rd, 24th-ish um, in a really busted-out RV. It's all he can get right now. I mean, it's literally... It, the way I see it is, one, it's wheels, and two, it's got enough cargo room that he can have all of his stuff for himself, his wife and his two two kids, uh, KK and Booger uh, and no, Booger's not his real name, Booger's his nickname um, but uh, yeah, they'll be staying here with me for a bit and uh, I got nothing but mad props, you know I, I did it, I travelled halfway across the world for crying out loud, you know travelled from London to lay over at New York and then a lay over at Chicago and to, to get my connecting flights to uh, <clears throat> to uh, Salt Lake City and uh, here I am and been here 15 years now I left here in 07 to go see my daughter and 
family and whatnot. So it's not like I'm I'm estranged or anything. I'm just more estranged with my mother more than anyone else, and I do have regrets about that. But at the same time, I don't. Um, the majority of my life, um, my mother has been a source of negativity in my life. Um, recently found out I had an older stepbrother, Scott. Um, I may talk more about him in these vlogs and stuff, or I may not, I don't know. Yes, that's a lot of cardboard boxes behind me. <laughs> I'll be cutting those up and uh, throwing them away here in the next few days. So, uh, that's because our base, when our basement flooded, I had to get, you know, like stuff out the basement and we needed boxes. So I went to our local grocery store and the guy literally just would not stop bringing boxes to the house. <laughs> so yeah, these are extras that I don't need, so I'm just going to destroy them, you know, cut them up and uh, take them to the dump or recycle them or something, you know. Um, but yeah, some of these trees are getting too dangerously close to the house size-wise, so they're going to be cut down here soon. And that's the wife getting ready for her morning shower. So I've got to go here soon, guys, to help her with her shower. So uh, I'm going to end the video here, and I'll see you in the next clip. Okay, guys. Ugh. Hi, guys. Uh, there wasn't a late-night league simply because I'm too fucking tired. You can see the bags under my eyes. Uh, but I will make it up to you guys. There is a League of Legends video coming. Uh, basically, it's just an introductory lo uh, video to League, as if you're a brand new player and you're level one. So, no, I didn't make a new account. I used my old, my current account as an example. So, I right now and the beautiful Baroness ah! am getting ready to go to bed. Well, I am. I know the Baroness is staying up. She's got stuff to do on her video game. So, I am literally tired. So, I'm going to end this video here with a stay safe, have a good night, and I'll see you in the next video clip. Bye. <sighs> good morning, America. Well, in this case, YouTube. Good morning. <sighs> Cup of coffee, first thing in the morning. It is... Dun, dun, dun... 7.57... I just got, well, I got up about 15 past. So I've been around for about 30 minutes now. Checked emails, Facebook messages, whatnot. And, um, yeah, uh, uh, saw a thing from hum Humble Bundle saying that I'm eligible for a free game. I'm like, okay. Look, and there's Dirt 3, and I'm like, ooh, yeah. I can use that to review the, the 1060 when it gets here today. Today, tomorrow, Monday, this weekend. Oh, it's a cold morning. And so, yeah, I figured, um, why not? Mm, there's only like three hours left on the deal. So by the time you see this video, guys, um, it, the deal's probably over. But I did post it in the, in the gaming group, in the, the Cobra Nation uh, group. And, um, yeah, I've, I'm still having... Uh, sleeping issues, which is why I look like crap, because uh, I'm still waking up two or three, two or three times in the night with uh, with my uh, PTSD issues. Uh, even though I've up, they've upped my melatonin, um, and uh, and my Xanax, and uh, even though I'm actually, I'm actually ironically, uh, uh, I'm out of Xanax. I ran out. Yesterday, last night, I ran out my last pill, and I've got to go to my local Four Corners Mental Health to get a prescription refilled. Oh, definitely winter is coming, you know. Insert freaking Sean Bean meme here, you know. Brace yourselves, winter is coming, sort of thing, you know. Um had an epiphany last night, which is quite ironic, that uh, Grimm will be leaving on Thanksgiving. Because he gets paid on the 24th slash 25th. Uh, and with Thanksgiving being a holiday and the banks are closed, he may get his money on the 23rd. 24th. Um, Grimm, of course, um, is a veteran and he gets his VA benefits. So does Leah. Uh, so 
I, I'm like, I'm going to ask him today about that. So I'll give you a small update maybe later, in, later on in the video sort of thing, you know. Go oh, fuck me, governor, it's cold. But you know what, I love it. <laughs> I do, I love the cold. I don't, I don't know why. Yeah, it's all mud and shit from this summer. <laughs> Had a blast. Had a blast this summer. Yeah, I did blow out the window. Yes, that window is busted. That window's busted. Too much fun. Uh, camp trailer's gone now. Uh, been chopping down some of the tree limbs. Uh, this, these old microwaves and cooker and stuff like that, they're all going to be taken out uh, to the desert. And uh, me and some friends are going to blow the crap out of it with uh, some shotguns and stuff. Celebrate the new year, sort of thing, you know. And so, yeah. Um, you wanna know how cold it is here guys? It's so cold here that you just can't figure out a freaking thought in your head. It's like, hey, I just, fuck it's cold. I mean, literally, it's just, you can't even get a thought done in your head, is that cold? And I'm sitting here, sipping coffee and a t-shirt and a pair of jeans. England, you know, what have you done to me? Yeah, it looks like I've got a black eye, but I don't. That's how bad I'm not sleeping, guys. That is literally how bad I am not sleeping right now. And so, yeah, um, I'm on a half acre yard. Grim's gonna be moving down here with his family, staying in the backyard till he can get on his feet at the housing department, which haven't gotten back to me and probably won't till Monday. Um, with it again, with it being Veterans Day yesterday and whatnot. Happy Veterans Day to all you veterans out there who have served, regardless of where you served. I salute you, my good man. I really do. I salute you. Thank you, veterans. Uh, whether you're British like me, or a British vet like me, or if you're uh, an American veteran like Grim, uh, Bucky, Pete, Chuck. Raymond Raymond Senior, um, I know a lot of veterans, guys. I'm part of a a, a social group uh, where we all meet up once a month, like a group therapy thing, and we just sit down and talk about what's going on in our heads, and we all say the exact same thing. We at least mumble to ourselves, "What the fuck?" at least twenty times before we get out of bed. <laughs> <sighs> Would you be cool? Because um, here in the next couple of weeks, I'll be heading up to Uncle Sam's uh, Army Surplus and picking me up some camping equipment and some other stuff for this upcoming hunt, uh, which I believe is bow. Uh, bag weight limit is set uh, 450, I think, 500. So, and it's uh, it is deer season this time around, not elk, like it was last season. So, uh, I'm happy about that. I mean, yes, I do hunt, guys. I hunt, I kill. I don't hunt humans or anything. That's, that's illegal. I wish I could hunt some fucking millennial social justice crybabies. Oh, Clinton didn't win. And no, I'm not a Trump supporter, All right, guys? I have voted Bernie. You guys know I'm a third party guy. I've always voted third party. If I, had, I mean, yes, I did one one year. I did vote for Obama. Me and the wife voted for Obama. Um, if he ran a third term, would I vote him in? Hell no. Hell to the no. Hell no. Why? Because he can't get anything done. Congress is is a Republican lockdown. He can't get shit done. Have you ever noticed? Whenever it's a Democrat, a Democrat House, a Democrat Senate, and a Democrat president shit gets done and vice versa republican 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 shit gets done but if it's democrat republican democrat stuff barely gets done because the democrats act like five-year-olds kicking their toys out their pram you know yes i understand you're all for smaller government and blah 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 blah
you got to understand it was a Republican president that sent your boys, that sent my friends, that sent my veteran friends over to Iraq, Afghanistan, and other fucking shithole, hellhole places. Hey, babe. And they come back broken. PTSD, missing limbs. Christ knows what else. And what does the government do that is majority Republican? Oh, you're on your own now. You're good enough to fight. You're good enough to die. You're good enough to get maimed. You're good enough to become fucking broken and disabled. But you're not good enough to get your benefits that we promised you. Fuck you. And yeah, I'm going to go on a little tirade there because I'm sorry. Even my country fucked me. Why the fuck do you think I don't live in England anymore? Because my country fucked me. On my VA benefits and Christ knows what else. Oh, you only served six years of your eight of your of your eight eight year. Guess what? <laughs> You're not eligible for this, that, and everything else. Well, fuck you, cunt. Pisses me off. So yeah, I'm mad at Bush. Yeah, I'm mad at Republican Party. Okay, you send good boys off, good men off to die, to come back damaged both mentally and physically and what do you do you kick them on the fucking streets you shut down welfare centers and fucking facilities that are designed to fucking help them you make you clog up the fucking arteries of the va with so much bullshit and paperwork and fucking medicare this and medicaid that and this that and the other to the point where veterans are literally dead in the hallways with only a sheet covering them I don't give a fuck who sits in that Oval Office. Whether it be an orange-faced fucking wig-wearing Trump, or whether it be a fucking senile, fucking delirious, fucking acid-tripping fucking Democrat. I don't care. Fix what you fucking promised. Plain and simple. I'm sick and tired uh, uh, of my buddies. And I just recently lost a friend who committed suicide due to Medicaid and Medicare bills because he thought he would be covered with insurance because he had Medicare and Medicaid. All of a sudden, they put a lien on his home, a house he grew up in as a fucking child. And the only way out that he could see was to take his own life. pisses me off. You cunts should be ashamed of yourselves. Don't see any fucking Republican giving up his cushy fucking suit and the safety of Washington DC and his bodyguards to put on BDU's fucking flak vest, grab a rifle and a helmet and go out in a fucking Humvee, which you approve by the way, that has no fucking armor because you wanted to save fucking five fucking cents per goddamn head. So you didn't want to get the anti-fucking protection plates, which fucking Hummer even turned around and told you, GM told you, get the fucking gusset plates installed, but no, you guys wanted to save a fucking dollar. Now how many of my friends are buried at Arlington? Or have their limbs blown apart elsewhere in fucking Iraq, Afghanistan, Iran, Syria? In Chechnya. Fucking Africa. Fucking Northern Ireland. I lost a lot of friends when I served friends I grew up with in school. School! Yeah, I do suffer from survivor's guilt, because I'm probably the only one left in my original unit who's still alive. Everyone else is dead. Dead, transferred, or fucking... I don't know, I lost track of them all. <laughs> Sorry, guys, it just it pisses me off, man. 
all because some fucking monkey in a suit wanted to save a couple of bucks over the cost of lives. Fuck you. Just fuck you. Ugh. Hi guys. Uh, yeah, I really didn't want to record me using the toilet. But anyway, I want to thank all you guys for sending uh, Baroness all the well wishes uh, and a big thank you to uh, all the new subscribers that I've gained this past week um, don't forget guys Monday it's tomorrow Monday's video uh, a live stream will be Battlefield 1 so that will be uh, interesting to say the least uh, let's see uh, 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 how many battle packs I don't get, shall we? Because for some reason, everyone else in the match but me seems to get battle packs. Yeah. So, go figure. So, it'll be fun playing a little bit of Battlefield 1. And, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I've had a bit of a stressful day. Uh, so, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, again, big thank you to Johnny. Uh, for buying the uh, 1060 GTX graphics card. That's the 6 gigabyte version, so uh, it's a lot of VRAM for me to play with. So I'll be able to make some of the games look real pretty. Uh, among other things. And um, downside is um, yesterday was uh, Veterans Day. And... Um, to well basically uh, we had a whole bunch of hours out out of town that's come down for veterans day and whatnot and two guys got completely rat ass drunk outside my house got into a bit of a fisty cuffs and one guy put his the back of his head through the windshield of my pontiac so yeah i've got to get a windshield for the pontiac and the thermostat and a hose uh, thermostat's going to be about 25 30 bucks. The hose is like $8 to $12. Windshield is going to be about 120 bucks. So, yay. And, of course, we don't have insurance on that vehicle because it doesn't run or drive. So, our insurance would normally just cover it. Now, deductible would be like 15 bucks for the windshield, but because the car's not insured, I know, hey ho. So that sucks. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here with a good night, farewell, Avida Zane, adieu. I am going to bed, and I will see you all in the morning when I upload this video to YouTube, I guess, question mark. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go. You know what? I might have a little mini Mate. turnover. No, I'm gonna have a full turnover. Let's see. Ooh, this one looks like to be a blackberry one. Who wants the tree? Dark berry of some kind. And so, yeah, um, I had a really nice. I actually slept down there all the way through the night last night. Yeah. Mm. Dog. It's a blackberry Here. raspberry combo. Have a piece of. Here. 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 Go on. Go. Come on, you two. Three. Sausage. Go. Sausage. Uh huh. Go. Come on, guys. I'm on it, Mum. Come on, Mum. Stairs. Oh, Wiki's pooping, Mum. I know he is. Then finish pooping. There we go. Alright. Now you guys are gonna see me struggle to get my dogs in the house. Yeah. I'm on it, Mum. Mum, I'm on it. Shaka. Come on. Shaka. This isn't WWE. Come on. You, you don't get in the ring. You're gonna get counted out. Bacon. And of course, it's the boys that are lost. House. Wiki. Come on, baby. Uh -uh. Wiki. House. House. So he runs away. <laughs> Monty Rama! <sighs> I'm going to be uploading this video today to give you guys something to watch. Don't forget, guys, tomorrow is Monday and it is Battlefield 1. So that's going to be fun. I'm going to kill him. I'm not ready, but... Oh, I'm going to whoop somebody's ass. See you later, guys.